Upon disembarking vessels anchored along France's western shores, after months at sea subsiding on hardtack and salt pork, many a haggard mariner made way straight for the nearest port side inn, allured by aromas of hearth cooked fare wafting into the brine kissed streets. There, within tempered walls, festooned with nets and body lines, tavern keepers offered deep bowls brimming in a steaming local specialty cartridge. To famished seafarers, a velvety white fish stew reaming with the day's catch from surrounding Atlantic waters. Chunks of firm wide cod, flaky haddock, tender shellfish simmered gently in a rich broth fortified with garlic, onion, tomato, and region's crisp white wines. Mussels tucked in blue-black shells and sweet shrimp added delicate briny pops, contrasting the gentle flakes of various fish swimming amidst a velvety cream and wine fragranced by branches of thyme, parsley, and bay leaves. This smooth chowder cradling the bounty harvest by ships docked just outside these very portal walls made the hearty but elegant sailor's fare perfect for navigating the immense gray ocean. Alongside boards set with rustic, nutty brown loaf made of coarse rye and, and wholemeal flowers were placed. The peasants' loaves, sturdy slices, provided perfect vehicles for tearing mouthfuls of warm cartridge or soaking up the remnants of herbs and broth once bowls were emptied. Crocks of steamy sweet butter from nearby farms at Turf's End provided additional richness to spread across the nutty flaked bread accompanying the traditional fisherman's stew. Before voyaging crew bid the tavern adieu for less salacious shoreline divisions, the toddy innkeeper emerged from the brick hearth's glow bearing a long wood paddle upon which sizzled crepe batter for final sweet sustenance. Paper-thin pancake hot off the skillet. Patrons drizzled spice honey or preserves brought over from New France upon the delicate golden rounds enjoyed with several more casks of musket wine and finally topped off with cream brulee while sailors boasted a fortune won in maiden's mood and further shores before stumbling again to sea. The question as always, which of these dishes would you like to try? I trust you enjoying this series as it brings me great joy to share my resources. Speaking of sharing, if you would like more content like this, click the link to my Patreon and buy me a cup of coffee. Contrary to popular belief, we are not paid through YouTube and therefore depend on contributions from viewers like you. Be sure to leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Right now, go and click the like button be sure to subscribe as I have so many more other recipes from my walk through time just to share as we continue to answer the question, what the heck did they eat?